Hey guys, it's Liz. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super fun spring related video. It is time to do that deep springtime cleaning that nobody looks forward to. I decided to focus this video around organizing because that actually makes me happy when I take the time to organize things and then I'm done with my work. I just sit back and just kind of enjoy my work. You guys know what I'm talking about. So today I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite organizing gadgets that I have found throughout the years and I hope that they help you guys out. I have gone through several different ways of organizing and these are the things that I've found work best. And also I will leave everything in the info box with links of where you can find everything as well as a blog post with pictures in case you guys want to pin anything for inspiration. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. The first thing I'm going to talk about is this tea organizer. It is this acrylic container. I got it from the container store and it basically has six different slots where you can put all of your little tea bags. And what I love about this is obviously the fact that it's see-through, but it allows me to organize my tea bags by category and they're not floating around. I also love the fact that this is so thin that it doesn't take up a lot of space in my cabinets. The trick to fitting as many tea bags as possible in this is to have them staggered. First tea bag will be face up and then I'll take the second tea bag and turn it upside down and place that right behind it. So it allows for more tea bags to fit. So if you put them all the same way, then the bottom part gets really chubby and you have all this wasted space at the very top. Another favorite organizer, also for the kitchen, it's this little baby right here, I use this for spices. So instead of having my spices in the cupboards like you normally expect them, I have them in the drawer. It's right next to my stove, so it makes it a little more efficient because whenever I'm seasoning while I'm cooking, I just pull it out from the drawer instead of having to reach up on the cupboard. And I just love the way that they look. They look so neatly organized whenever they're all stacked next to each other. If you do have the additional drawer space and you want to preserve some cupboard space, I highly recommend you try these. And this is also from the container store, by the way. Another kind of kitchen related item. This is more for the pantry. These little airtight containers, your food is going to last a lot longer, but my favorite part is that I can see everything. They're by the brand OXO. I think it came like 50 different containers and I got it at Macy's. They have this little thing where you snap it on and then you snap it shut to make it airtight. And I actually added these labels on there myself. They're a little chalkboard label and I use a chalkboard marker. I did do an entire blog post on my pantry. So if you guys want to see some pantry organization or you want to see some pictures of my pantry, I'll leave that blog post linked down below. I did it last year and my pantry has pretty much stayed the same. I haven't changed anything about it, but I use this for everything. So next I have have these little bamboo cubes that are also from the container store and they're modular so I can basically just buy them individually whatever size I need and I use them to put um, kitchen utensils. You can basically customize it to your drawer so I do keep these in every single one of my kitchen drawers to keep all of my silverware and uh, serving wear organized. I keep my bigger serving silverware in here. You arrange them in any way that you like, so it's definitely customizable to your drawers. So if you have a smaller drawer, you can definitely just use one big one like this, or you can use two smaller ones like this. So another place that I think that we tend to kind of neglect because you don't see it, you just kind of shut it and forget about it, is where we put our dishes. And I found that these little metal shells are simply amazing and a great way to efficiently use the space in there because a lot of times when you stack dishes, you have all that wasted space at the very top. And with these, you can actually stack them on top of each other within the same shelf. So I absolutely love these. And I have, I have them in these white ones. And these are actually a little bit more inexpensive. I, I got all of these from the container store. These white ones come in three different sizes and I actually have two of the sizes. This is the largest one, I believe. And then I have a smaller one for one of my smaller cabinets. I love this because I can neatly stack my plates on the bottom and then have my bowls on top. And I don't have any wasted space. Before I used to have all my dishes going all the way up the cupboard and I used to always have to call my husband over to grab some of the plates at the very top because I couldn't reach. Or I had to go and get a stepping stool, which is just a pain in the butt. Or sometimes I would even actually like climb up the counters, which probably shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> but these are amazing because it allows me to have all of my dishes right there. And then I can utilize those shelves at the very top for things that I don't use as often. And then this one is great for those smaller cabinets. And I actually use this in the cabinet where I have all of my coffee supplies because it fits all of the plates nicely on the bottom. And then I can use the top to stack up. Uh, like coffee cups or just really anything that needs to be stacked on top and 
It just makes it way easier. Now when I open up the cabinets, everything looks so neatly organized. And one of the most recent things that we added to our kitchen were these rollout cabinets. This is probably the most labor intensive one out of everything that I mentioned because you do have to have some tools to install it. You have to drill it into your cabinets. These rollout organizers come in different sizes. Definitely make sure you have your measurements in handy so that you get the right ones. As you can see over here on the left hand side, I have the larger organizer, which is intended for pots and pans. And it just rolls out so smoothly and you have all your pots neatly organized. To the right of that, I have the lid organizer, which is super genius. It used to stress me out to go into this cabinet because everything was all over the place. I could never find the lid to the right pot and I was always using lids that were way too big for the pots or vice versa. If you're someone that's in the kitchen a lot and you cook a lot and you spend a lot of time at home, I do feel that these investments are worth it to give you a little bit of sanity and just make you happy at home, you know, where you spend the majority of your time. So these were definitely an investment for us, but they were totally worth it. So this last organizer is what we use in our um, all of our bathrooms underneath the sink. And I've tried so many different ways to keep things organized down there and I always look cluttered. I tried the bins, wooden bins. I just tried all of those and nothing really made me happy. I also ran into that same problem where I was having a lot of wasted space vertically. So I found these at Bed Bath & Beyond and they're like these mesh stackable drawers. The top part actually comes off and then the bottom part is actually it's an actual drawer that pulls out. You can basically customize them according to your cabinets. So I could actually fit two of these under the sink. I wanted taller items on one side. I wanted this on the other side for smaller items and to keep them contained. So this is where I keep all of my backup things like backup toothpaste, lotions, just anything that hasn't been opened yet but I want easy access to in case I jump in the shower and I realize that I'm out of body wash. I can just reach under my sink instead of having to go all the way to the linens closet. Let me know what some of your favorite things that you've ever found to organize with are or if you have like any DIYs or anything like that. Let me know in the comments down below. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button or you can also find it down in the info box. There's a little link where you can click on it and it'll take you to my page where you can subscribe and I will talk to you guys on my next video. Mwah. Bye. Oh, you want to say hello? You want to say hi, baby? You want to say hi? I was taking a nap, mommy. And you interrupted me.